I just want somebody to jiggle my ball, throw my ball, hold it, talk to it. Oh, 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 You sound like you're a little frustrated in a minute. Stay, what I, what I do, stay, stay. What I do, stay, stay. Left me on red. Huh? Why you left me on red? You think you all that? Huh? You think you all, you think you all that? Oh, yes. I'm not gonna let everything out the bag because the haters will steal my ideas. I'm not gonna let everything out the bag because the haters will steal my ideas. We do not care. Broke nigga alert. I know there's a lot of uh, stuff going on right here. We all know we're talking about the Snow Bunny. We all know we're talking about the Snow Bunny name, Miss. Don't know, say why. A lot of music say karma's a bitch. But karma is not a bitch. Maybe it is a bitch. But I'm not going to say the full song, though. I ain't going to lie to you. I don't even know. Like, maybe... There's a lot of like stuff going on and shit, but I'm just trying to say this here, so I'm trying to say this here though. That's nasty. Oh, something like that. So I just understand it, but just a shoddy smoking. Have mercy what I just saw right there. Whoa, have mercy what I just saw right there. Hey yo! Hey, yo, man. Bro, I know it's like off the leash. I am saying this shit, bro. Like, disgusting. they're fucking each other type shit. But I don't even know that little ass X. That's crazy, bro. You can, you do, you, you want, you, you can do so, you, you do, you can, you, you want, you want him to do you so much, you can do anything. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. That is nasty. That is nasty. That's nasty. That's nasty. Like real shit, bro. That is nasty, bro. That's rat. That's nasty. Oh no, she was smoking that Zod type shit, but I don't even know what she's smoking, bro. I don't even know what she's smoking. I don't even know. Maybe the rock is cooking. Bro. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I am actually pansexual. I am transgender. I'm a bird. Ah, ah, ah. Skip it up and down. everyone we do have a fully grown jojo siwa today and we do have a few rules before we bring her out okay if jojo touches you or crawls in your lap that's totally fine but please do not touch her also there is no feeding jojo siwa and especially no flash photography all right 
Now, without further ado, here's Jojo Siwa. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming out to my show. This is a 20-year-old Jojo Siwa. Isn't that right? She loves to sing and dance and just be herself. All right, Jojo. Would you like to dance for us? Huh? A big girl, you want to dance? All right, go ahead. Okay, everyone. Let's let's not overstimulate her. All right. I don't think could have been just found a killer. Hey, yo, bro. Yes. Call the cops. Yes. Bro, call the cops, bro. Man, I just went ass crazy. This is a strike right here, right? Come on. That JoJo Siwa animation, I can't play the full clip because I'm scared it's going to get copyright. But anyway, I'm going to do a tier list, so I'm going to say that that's not for me for kids, bro. That's not me for kids type shit. That's not me for kids. And uh, Colleen Ballinger, I know, like, uh, she played ukulele. I don't even know, but that's nobody needs to go to jail. Yeah, yeah, it's guilty. I tell you, she's guilty, man. I'm trying to pull up my Uncle Ruckus shit right there, but that, that, that my Uncle Ruckus. But Eagle A, I know BK got copyright strike from this, bro. It's just let that be a lesson, man. I don't even know. I'm laughing, bro. I don't even know. I'm laughing nervously because I don't even I don't even know how this shit happened, man. So I'm, I'm reacting to JoJo CY. And yeah, that's about it, man. I'm just going to keep pushing. I don't even know. I, I think I'm going to get some shit, but I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not trying to get copyright for this shit. I'm just reacting to JoJo CY. And yeah, I like Queen Ballinger, she could be a like on like the the registry, bro. I don't want to say, man, but it's a lot. Of sh it's a lot of crazy shit going on. If you know what I mean, it's a lot of crazy. Once you shit. fuck up, bitch, that's the last time. A lot of crazy you will not get another chance, I bitch. I am too smooth around this bitch to be getting played. We were overdue for yeah, a little internet wackiness, like and you were looking a yeah, little malnourished, so allow me to feed you some vitamin D drama. If I asked you to tell me the most iconic YouTube video you can think of, I imagine a lot of you would default to some of the timeless classics like Numa Numa, maybe Harlem Shake. But I do think there's a not small number of people that will immediately go to something a little more recent. The now infamous Colleen Ballinger ukulele apology video. Now I know what you're thinking, Charles Dagnabbit, that was two months ago, that's ancient history, that milk has spoiled, why are we talking about it now? Well it's because Jojo Siwa just came out to defend her against everything that's happened and calls it a lie. Speaking of friends, are, are you, and, and uh, if I'm wrong, are you friends with Colleen Ballinger still? Yeah, I uh... What do you say about I've that? Known, I've known Colleen for... since I was... Since I was 12. Now, I recognize on the internet, things move faster than me on a basketball court. It's always going a million miles per hour, so there's a good chance a lot of you forgot why Colleen Ballinger even got in trouble in the first place. So I'll give you a brief refresher. Colleen Ballinger is the woman behind the Miranda Sings brand, and recently, two months ago, it came to light that she had a history of talking and acting inappropriately with underage fans, even sending some extremely disturbing and inappropriate videos to children in her audience, and a lot of other very awful allegations and accusations against her and the way she acts around children. So for Jojo Siwa to come on here and immediately start by saying that she's known Colleen since she was 12, that to me is just another big red flag. Like this is the worst possible way of starting your defense of someone if you're trying to prove they're innocent and everything was a lie. She just openly admits that when she was 12 years old, she was friends with an adult woman. When Jojo Siwa was 12, Colleen would have still been an adult. That is very weird. The creep sirens should be blaring. An adult influencer befriending children in their audience is not normal, healthy, or a good thing. Especially because Colleen, as she herself admits, had no boundaries, so would share everything with these children that she considered friends, such as sexual shit. It, like, it was very, very not good. And here's JoJo just confirming that, hey, I was one of those 12-year-olds that was friends with this adult woman. I would imagine if you're friends with her... 
you kind of met her when you were young? I was, yeah, I was 12 when I met her. And um, she's always been nothing but kind to me. Her family, nothing but kind to me. The internet can take a lie and run so far with it, so far that it's to the point where you just can't do anything about it. What lie? Can you point it out and set the record straight? What fib has Hulkmania run wild with? Because in this statement, in this exact same sentence here, you just confirmed one of the big accusations about the adult woman, Colleen Ballinger, befriending children. And there's a bunch of videos and messages that have all come out with things she would send to these children, and it's not good. Are those the lies? Is that all fake? Just deep fakes and all of the messages and victims aren't real? They're paid actors pretending? Like, I, I would love to know what it is here. Now, full disclosure, I'm not super familiar with Jojo Siwa. It's a name I've heard a lot. I know she's a huge child celebrity. So if I may pose a thought experiment here. Do you think it's possible that Colleen Ballinger was extremely nice to you and her family extremely nice to you, Jojo, because you were already a celebrity? So she knew if she was creepy and weird and saying sexual things to you, that could be a big deal because you had an audience and a platform that could call to light these awful actions. So perhaps she gave you special treatment because if she did do all of the degenerate shit she was doing with the other children she befriended, there was a chance that you could cause a lot of problems for her by revealing it publicly. But I could be totally off my rocker here, lost my marbles. It, at the end of the day, it's just a theory, a game theory. Just something to marinate up here in the old noodle to think on. But regardless, an adult influencer befriending a child fan is weird. Full stop. Like, that is still just a weird thing to do. And I've had that happen to me. And I I know Colleen very, very, very well. And I think the work that Colleen has done for, for the internet is incredible. I think her creativity is incredible. Miranda Sings is a character, is a comedian. Comedian is a word we're using very loosey-goosey here. But even still... There's not exactly anything side-splitting, gut-busting hilarious about an adult sending sexual videos and messages to kids in a group chat. That's not exactly a top 10 ha-ha laughs moment. That's just fucking gross. So you can't really just excuse it at all as like, eh, she's playing a character, you know, just being a comedian. It doesn't really work here. And once again, you should not know Colleen Ballinger very, very well. You were a child. You were 12 years old. You should not know intricate details about this adult influencer's life who is a stranger to you. You're not, like, related or anything. You shouldn't have been friends to begin with. That in and of itself, I believe, is a problem. And I think that it's very hard to be a character where people are also looking at you as you're a real human behind that character. And I think being a comedian is very hard because you were able to do things years ago that were okay and now that we've grown and we've matured we've realized that they're not okay you know what i mean um like in and of itself that statement's not entirely wrong of course things were different like 15 years ago on the internet like some of the videos then have not aged well and would be very differently in the, in terms of their perception today but i don't Yeah, I'm about done with oh, this come video. Over here, like, come over I'll here. subscribe to Check out my new shoes. There's a brand new one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, buckle some more, five, six. I know this video is kind of garbage, but I think it's kind of trash. I don't even know. I'll react to Joe Dozer's shoe in my opinion. But make sure you subscribe and make sure this video get a lot of likes or something. Nah, they're probably not gonna be. I'm gonna play those underrated videos. Ever. I'm the videos most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion that I'm ever been. That Mike Tyson no one fight. can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never that's been right. anybody that's ruthless. Right. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children.
like Jake Paul and shit, but I don't really know. I think I'm gonna get, I'm thinking I'm gonna lock in though, but yeah, that's bad. Anyways, uh, like it if you dislike it. God bless you guys.